toward a global middle ages encountering the world through illuminated manuscripts so you're um getting a prologue introduction into like manuscripts and like the world um so it's divided into like four different like sections so like glimpses of a global world um of like books, um, bound, rolled, folded type of thing, uh, identity, like so finding one's place, um, and so and then there's the fourth part and then there's an epilogue and so whatever um so you get like images of like primary sources so like in uh photos photos or like scanned um the pages like scanned of of like these different maps and items so and you get like the physical places as well so it's a slight variety so medieval items um not just like europe even though like europe is like the main focus but you are getting places outside of medieval europe like mesoamerica asia north Amer north and south america so pretty much across the globe you're getting some sort of map um but it's more like relation to like again europe so you get like um notes and information and like explanations on items mentioned so you get like um physical objects like a globe or a ceramic item so you're getting a lot of materials um hebrew poetry um Marco Polo's description of like the world. So you're introduced to a lot of different topics and items. And what's nice about this book, you're getting more than European and Islamic maps. You're getting uh, like the first types of maps of North and South America and other places around the world. So if cartography I think it's like maps and then like the middle ages are like hand in hand for you this can be a really great book for you to have in your reference so yeah toward a global middle ages edited by Brian C. Keen happy readings <laughs>